Okay, this is called Red Out. That is one of the tracks in Red Out. It's uh, not one of the beginner tracks, as you can probably guess. Well, it is one of the earlier tracks in the game. Quite interesting. There's track above us and uh, curving all over the place. One of those really fast racing games. Not recommended if you're new to VR. You need to get a bit used to VR so you don't get sick. I don't quite know what the brakey things are for. It's just blue obstacles in your way all the time. And the AI seems quite keen on breaking it. For whatever reason. Maybe it gives you energy. Maybe that's what it's about. Anyway. You build up energy as you can see uh, to the bottom right. And then you can do little boosts as you go. Usually a bad idea right before a corner, which is almost always. And, uh, yeah, very fast. Could make you quite uncomfortable, as I say, if you went to VR head of a couple of weeks experience. This game wasn't originally developed for VR. It is a uh, just an independent game that people can play without VR, but in VR it is quite spectacular. It supports uh, Rift and Vive. I'm playing it obviously, uh, if you can't tell, with the Rift. Oculus Rift uh, GTX 1080 video card, so it's not even breaking a sweat for this. Since uh, most of the scenery outside of the track is just flat shaded stuff. With very little texture mapping. The track itself is uh, quite detailed as you can see. Yeah, quite pleasant to play. I was really a fan back in the day of, of stuff like Wipeout and High Octane and uh, this, uh, maybe not so much High Octane. High Octane wasn't as fast as this. It's more like a Wipeout. Uh, was it F Zero? That kind of stuff. Definitely a very specific genre that you are either very into or you hated as a kid. Well, if you're anywhere near my age, the kind of game where you have to actually spend time getting good at it, spend time honing your skills. racing at breakneck speed. Kind of have to know the tracks to be able to do it at full speed. Good scale, sense of distance and scale. I can feel like this huge cave around me with track everywhere. Very cool. Let's try some more. Pilot level is Oh, what is the spirit time attack three laps okay like i say with the rift i found that you get used to a bit of the more unsettling side effects like motion sickness feeling a bit woozy sometimes um i dealt with it pretty well from the start some people have shown the rift do deal with it spectacularly well. Some people don't deal with it at all, that well at all, at least not at the start. But then I've actually seen someone start to use the rift, get woozy, ten minutes later try again and they were fine. Now that hasn't been, that's a singular experience for one person. Everybody else that gets, and that includes myself, that gets a little bit woozy from it once. Oh, that's a really weird bend in the track. Yow. Okay. This is different. That's one more long wall ride. New 
This is what's all over the place. Oh, it's, it points the scene is coming past so, past so fast. You don't really know where it's going. This is interesting, I'll give them that. Interesting track. It's kind of have a compound curve there where it simultaneously turns and curves away from you. Wow. This is difficult. Just to keep the car on the track. Jeez. Okay. Come on. Oh, I'm screwing this up pretty bad. The thing with games like this is you need to get it absolutely perfect and you need to be very fast. You kind of have to do it in anticipation, you can't just drive it on reaction. I'm looking way up into the corner here. I'm going to turn my camera off for a bit. So uh, if you want to know and if you've done this before, you'll actually be able to. Uh, I'm not sure I want to do this again. Three, two, yeah, you'll actually be able to view it with uh, the cross eye technique. Uh, it does work. I've tried it with this game. Sometimes uh, some of the output from the VR headsets will warp the vision a bit uh, on the peripheries and. That really screws with trying to view something in cross eye stereo because in cross eye stereo you actually require it to be a flat projection, not the projection that the VR headset uses. That's definitely not flat. But in this uh, in this game, it seems like the output that's going to the monitor is quite compatible with viewing it in cross eye. What's going on there? I don't know because the whole screen just goes red. You can't really try to follow. What's the difference between the track and the sky? Sometimes I do wonder about the ease of use considerations that didn't go into this game. <laughs> uh, like it seems to always insist on running in full screen mode. Why? I have no idea. None of the other games, like really other high end games require that. But this one refuses to run in anything else. And uh, I find it quite annoying because I'm trying to record stuff, I'm trying to take away from the game and every time you come near the game it steals focus and resets the resolution of the monitor. Which is lovely. I'm playing this in super sampled mode. Oh. I'm making a right mess of this race though. I don't realize when uh, somebody else is racing or doing anything else in VR and they keep moving their head how much their head is actually moving in relation to what you see to you it might look like everything's just pretty much ahead of me and the camera you know like most most games on a 2d monitor move the camera for you and kind of point your head where it needs to be or point the camera where you need to be looking but in this you actually have to be moving your head, looking up, looking down, looking left, looking right. And it's a fairly bit more work to do a high speed race like this. Let's continue, I want to retry this again. That's Red Out. Very cool game. I wonder if I can just go and... Yeah, let's do a quick race, do one of the simpler maps. Uh, let's do a time attack. Three laps, that seems fine. Let's do it on that Cairo track. I think it's the first one. Okay, let's just pick a. Oh, 
Where's this chip I was just in? I don't want anything new now. That works. Start race. Or if it's been really fond of disconnecting tonight. When it does that, it kind of sends my recording to hell. It looks like we're going to get through this without incident. Here we go. Actually, don't think I've done this one. It does look quite high speed, though. Uh, interesting. I can be. Yeah, I think this is the first Dracula race in the campaign. It's a bit of a wall ride. Insane. That's what I mean if, uh, if you're not used to VR. I'd rather not do this the first time around. In addition to it being fast and the turns being fast, being an upside down corkscrew at this kind of speed it upsets up people's stomachs. Was a bit of a fast one. Look, screw you. It can be a bit disorientating, I won't lie. At some points there you wonder where the hell am I now. There you go. Cool. Congratulations. Gold medal award. Oh, that's nice. Cheers.